I like them. Tuck me in. There are sensitive periods in human development, periods when the brain is more plastic. Uh, we know, for example, that young children are much better able to learn a second or a third language very early on in life compared to later on in life. The conclusion that we are inevitably led to by modern research is that happiness and well-being are actually best regarded as skills. We normally don't think about them as skills in, in Western culture, but uh, all the research leads us to believe that they really should best be considered as skills. Fundamentally no different than learning to play Good. a musical instrument, for example. Listen for the bell. Listen for the bell. Okay. There are a variety of different kinds of meditation techniques, which I believe can be very effectively used to cultivate happiness and well-being. Uh, and those are among the, I think, um, most uh, important methods that can be harnessed um, by individuals and studied by Western science. Wow, that was very nice listening. Breathe in. Breathe out. The way in which these practices, I think, can best be taught is with very short periods of practice. Uh, and I think those short periods of practice, when they occur uh, repeatedly over time, several times a day, uh, can be very, very effective. Mm -hmm.